YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Glizzy back here with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tunnel on controller. I mean you probably saw it right there at the beginning. Clicked on the title and you want to know and I'm going to teach you all the tunnels that you need to know and how to do all of them. Easy, hard, impossible. It don't matter. I'm going to teach you how to do it because I'm tired of hearing controller players not being able to tunnel. I'm tired of keyboard players saying drop me your mats because we can do it and I know you can too. Hard work. You you, you could tunnel, you just gotta believe in yourself, just gotta practice. With that being said, if you do enjoy the video today, remember to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content. Let's not waste any more time and learn how to tunnel on controller. Alright boys, we got the hand cam for the video today, and the reason for this is just so, uh, you know, you can kind of see exactly what buttons I'm pressing rather than just uh, having to imagine it and try to think about it. But the way this video is going to work is we're just going to start with the most simple tunnels and work our way up to the more difficult ones. So starting with the bare minimums are pretty much our shambles tunnels is when we're out of mats or really don't know what to do or where to go. And the way to do these are, uh, this is what the first one's going to look like, right? And you could also do this one covering your side like that or vice versa like this. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's really simple. All you do is place a ramp behind you by looking straight down. And then we go over to this one, ramp straight down, ramp. And the reason we want to look straight down is because if we are looking up, it'll place here and we'll have to edit it. I mean, which you can do, but it just causes more air when we could already just place the ramp in that way. So, and then for the other one, same deal. You just look straight down and place the ramp. And it's uh, really good, actually, as it covers your angles from different sides you're just open for a wee bit but there's another variation of this and it's the same thing except for we cover our top instead of our bottom and you can do that by placing a cone or a floor and then a ramp and that's it for these super simple ones and now we're going to move on to our open tunnels which are another step up but not the hardest thing in the world okay so the tunnel we're going to talk about now is the open tunnel now it says the name implies it pretty much leaves you're leaving an area open whether that be your side front to run through anything like that it's just leaving something open so you won't get shot right and it's like this like I'm leaving something open right so starting off the first one we're gonna do is leaving our front open our straight to like push forward and it looks something like that and when you're running full speed you could flick them faster but a lot of people mess up and they place this wall and they have to edit it which isn't a big deal, but the problem with that is, is that it uh, wastes a mat when you don't need to. So to avoid this, the way you want to do this is look to the middle. Let's see if we pull out our wall here. If you look towards the left side of this wall, it won't get it. Because if you're on the right side, it will actually place in the front. Vice versa, if you're on the left side, it will place there. So you want to get to the right side of the wall. So if you see here, look there and flick it over there. Look there, get it over there. Right? You just want to be on the left side of this edit button. Alright, when that edits there, you just want to be on the left side of it and it'll always place there and not in the middle. So, you know, and then after some time you figure out the crosshair placement, you'll be able to pick up speed and run. And going on with this one, uh, you could also leave your left open, right? Or you could leave your uh, right side open. And the way to do this is you just place the one wall there if you want. And you could also place the front one by kind of flicking in a circular motion if you want to edit this front wall. So I'll do that real slow. It goes floor, floor, and then you just kind of flick it around in like a 90 motion almost. And same thing for this one except for just the other way. So you can just uh, go floor, floor, wall if you want. But if you want that front one, just flick it around in like a 90 motion. And that's it for this type right here. But the other type of open tunnel is this one right here, and this is probably one of the best uh, tunnels for controller. And the reason for that is, is it works so good with our movement, and it looks really smooth. And we could do this one a lot better in keyboard and mouse players. And the way you do this one is place a floor, floor, wall, wall, and swing it around as we start to run this way. And as soon as we place this wall, we want to hold our floor. And that way we get floor, floor, wall, wall, hold our floor, wall wall swing it up floor floor swing it up swing it up and then you just start picking up pace right and then you want to swing it kind of up you don't have to go way up but that just helps you build it as you can see you'll figure out how high you need to go with practice to place it but again floor floor wall wall swing it up 
floor, floor, wall, wall, press our floor button, swing it around, wall, wall, and that's how that one works. And the last type of open tunnel we have uh, for our same layer is this one right here. It's the same idea as just the ramp, except for we're going to place our wall too. So we're protecting our front, and you can do it this way too. It's just uh, floor, wall, ramp, floor, ramp, wall, whatever way you want to do it. You kind of press them all at the same time. So that one's also really easy to do. And now we're going to go into our fully protected tunnels. All right, now that we got like the basics out of the way, we can get into things to actually start to uh, challenge the controller players when it comes to tunneling. And that's uh, a full, full protected tunnel. And if you don't know what that is, it just looks like this, where literally everything's protected around you. And you edit this wall in front. And uh, it's, it's really challenging because we have our analog stick that moves at like one speed compared to a mouse where you can like flick it really fast. We don't really have that. So uh, it's hard to do, but once you understand the motion of how to do it, it's actually not that bad. And the way to do that is you just place a floor and then you just get your two walls here and then you kind of just throw it around in a little circular motion so you're looking up to place that floor. So when we were doing this one, remember this little motion here? That's how we want to finish it. You just want to place the walls and then do that little motion. So together it'll look like this slow. Wall, wall, flick it around, boom, stare, and now you're here to edit it, boom. And then you just want to start slow. Floor, wall, wall, flick it around, boom, and now you're there to edit it, right? And then the trick to this is once you do it, is being able to reset your crosshair to where you want to edit it. Like defining that sweet spot, as you see, my crosshair always ends up back at that tile right there or this tile right here. I have really good centering, so I always end up back where I need to when I want to edit my tile. And that's the big trick to it is trying to flick back to that one spot so you can edit your wall through. And if you are crazy, you could uh, place a ramp behind you for more protection. As you can see, it really just guards your back even more one layer. And sometimes the floor won't place, but that's okay because you have a ramp above you. And that's pretty much how you do the straight one like this. And now the diagonal one is the same deal, right? You just want to go place your walls, floor, and place your wall again, right? Our, our floors will be placed, wall, 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 floor, floor, wall, 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 floor, floor, wall, wall, wall. So floor, floor, wall, wall, and then flick it around, floor, floor, and then you kind of just flick it around, floor, floor, wall, wall, flick it down, floor, floor, wall, wall, flick it down, floor, floor, and then flick it down, right? And then you got to work on that centering to get it right or you're able to edit your piece. And that's pretty much it for the, uh, the basic full tunnels that you need to know and for that one too you could also like place a ramp behind you and whatnot is just, just like before oh there we go I was struggling for a second you could place that ramp behind you to be able to get you one more layer alright so the last type of tunnels we have uh, are ones when you're going up a layer and they're, those are pretty simple so basic you just got a double ramp and then you guys should already know how to do this from watching my other videos. It's just protecting one side. And if you don't know how to do this, it's ramp, ramp. And then you just kind of like 90 it, reverse 90 it to the side. And you could do that the other way too. Just if you want to protect one layer. You could also just throw the uh, these walls up if you don't want them in front of you. So you just kind of sideways run and place those walls there. You could also do it the other way, place the walls there. And then the last one is the hardest one, which is a uh, kind of like a full tunnel kind of. It's where you protect this way and this way. If you look, you just throw your walls up, just like we did. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of a it's kind of a rhythm you get into when you do this one. And then once you get it, you can kind of go for a really long time. Once you get that rhythm going, and then as you can see, it protects both sides. And if you want to uh, fully protect yourself you can but you should never be doing this because it weighs one two three four five six seven different builds for one layer and that's not worth it there's better ways to go about it so again to do these real simple just kinda paint your walls around this little corner right here ramp ramp walls same thing 
ramp ramp walls and if you want both sides just kind of paint them up straight up boom and really use your movement on this one because it's hard to do if you're running straight so make sure you're going side to side Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video today. I know tunneling is one of the things controller players struggle with the most, and that's why I made this video. I want to show you guys all the techniques and how to perform them so that you can implement this into your gameplay. Because I know a lot of the times, people don't want the controller player to tunnel, but you could actually do it really good if you practice. But if there is any other videos you want to see or topics you want me to cover, just let me know down below and I'll get back to you and probably even make a whole video on that. But with that being said, as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.